daughter's name is Julianne Tompkins. Uh, she's known as Tootie. It's just a name we've uh, given her. And ever since she was little, uh, we knew something wasn't quite right. We had her at one hospital, local hospital where we're at, um, and they did a unneeded surgery. And then noticing these de- uh, developmental delays, we also had a second opinion at another hospital, uh, this time in Philadelphia, and they had to do another surgery to correct the first one. Uh, going through that second surgery, we sought more opinions down in Philadelphia, which one was a genetic ner- neurologist, and he found out that she has what's now known as Cocaine Syndrome. She's one of 150 kids living with it. Um, she has type 1. Type 1 has a life expectancy of about 10 to 20 years old. And some of the symptoms are pulgeria, uh, sunset of the sunlight. They, a lot of times they're born with cataracts or develop cataracts early on, uh, hearing loss. So we're just trying to raise awareness. It gets challenging at times. You know, she's not like the normal uh, little, uh, little girl. Uh, she's three years old. She can't walk. Uh, her communication skills are lacking. You know, she can say a couple of things. She can point, you know, but most things is more interpretive of what we're getting used to, you know, living with her versus, you know, being able to teach a child, hey, you know, how to walk, how to talk, how to interact. So there are challenges. Uh, you know, we go to multiple doctor's appointments a month. So we're back and forth with Philadelphia constantly. And it takes a toll, you know, having to get off work and, you know, my wife having to get off work so we can go down. So, yeah, it's just it's taxing all around. She always has a smile on her face. Always has a smile. I mean, beyond anything, she just has no care in the world. So 